So it is my honor and my privilege to introduce to you more leaders of the Butler County community. As I've said many, many times in times of great crisis, and yes, this country is in the grips of a crisis, we need more leaders and fewer politicians. And I'm proud to introduce to you Leslie Oshi. Kim Geyer, Ed Natale, and Command Sergeant Major Marine Sam Zerzulo to the podium. Come on up. Give them a big round of applause, Butler. When I saw that plane coming in, I'm thinking, that is a tough act to follow. I'll do my best. So I'm Ed Natale. I'm a member of the board of uh, Butler Township Commissioners. It's great to see this turnout in, in my beautiful hometown of Butler, Pennsylvania. You know, the events of July 13th left a mark on this community and our nation. But nothing, of course, that those of us that are here today can uh, an experience, nothing compares to what was experienced by the Comparatory family, the Dutch family, and the Copenhaver family. The community leaders behind me here today Look at that. I, yep. Okay, that's it. Good night. <laughs> no. So the community leaders here joining, they're behind me today. We all grew up in this town, and July 13th is not how we want the world to know about the Butler community. When we think about the community of Butler, we reminded it's the birthplace of the Jeep. World War II and a fantastic uh, implement it was used to help our fighting men back in World War II. It was a manufacturing site for the first all-steel rail cars. And it's the current home of the only producer of electrical transformer steel in the United States. But one thing I want to see after today, October 5th, 2024, I am declaring that Butler, Pennsylvania is the undisputed capital of Trump country. As a member of that board of commissioners, I get to work with some of the finest uh, men and women who serve in our emergency services and fire protection throughout the municipality and the county. As Sheriff Sloop talked, there was 252 attendees on the July 13th rally that suffered some type of heat illness. That was approximately 25 every hour. So again, those are just men and women who just put it all on the line, volunteer and paid to serve us here in the community. In closing, I want to ponder one thing. As we talk about resilience, the man 
who by the grace of Almighty God dodged an assassin's bullet on July 13th. When I look at him and I see the resilience and the tenacity where he can be retired to a beach in the Caribbean on his own island, but he is out here fighting for this nation, the things that make this country great, living in liberty and freedom, building businesses, building a nation. On November 5th, join me again in making America great again. God bless President Trump, Senator Vance, and God bless the United States of America. Welcome everyone, a beautiful, wonderful crowd. If our president would be proud when he comes out here, he's gonna go ecstatic to see this many people here. I didn't know this many people could fit in this farm show grounds. First off, what I would like to do is take a portion of my time for a moment of silence for the Comptor family for their tragic loss. Please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you very much. Now to the Comptor family, and we wish to express on behalf of the Butler Township residents and the Butler Township Board of Commissioners our deepest and sincere sympathy for their tr tragic loss. Uh, to come out here and to enjoy themselves on a beautiful day, to, to have a good time, and to lose a family member, I know what it's like. So you have my condolences also. So thank you very much. I also would like to recognize Mrs. Fogel. Imagine what she is going through losing her son to Russia in a prison camp. Nobody should have to endure, especially a lady 95 years old, don't know whether her son is going to come home in a basket or come home to put her, she could put her arms around him. And I know when President Trump talked to her, and he, he actually talked to the Commodore family several times, and he talked to Mrs. Fogel, and, he, and according to the paper, he said, if I make president, I will bring your son home. Well, Mrs. Fogel, I'm here to tell you when Donald Trump becomes the President of the United States, he is going to do everything in his power to bring your son home to you so you can put your arms around again. Thank you, Donald Trump. I didn't write a speech, but I would like to say this. On behalf of my Butler Township Police Department, uh, Officer Collins and Officer Desky, the bravery they shown that day when our shooter attempted to assassinate our president was taken out by one of our officers sticking his head up on the roof. And I think he rattled the, our shooter so bad that it, it got him a little nervous and he started shooting quicker. Consequently, he took one of our residents out, plus took two of our uh, good citizens out. Uh, my, I hope for them a speedy recovery also. Had they not had the courage and do what they did, I believe he had approximately 30 rounds in his am magazine. God only knows what would have happened if he'd have got those other 22 rounds off. So thank you, Officer Tedeschi and Officer Collins, for your heroism for <laughs> President Trump. Give him a big round of applause. I, I know I'm running out of time, but I would like to say this. I happened to be here that day. I want to thank Tom King and Ashley for giving me the opportunity to come up here and, and say a few words, because it was it's very important to me I be able to talk to such a large group of people. But I'm kind of lost for words. <laughs> Anyhow, I am proud to be, up, to be up here today. And that day, that flag right there, displayed like a crucifix or an angel on it. And, and I know everybody has seen that, and I think that was a warning. And then, a, few, a little, little bit later, a drone come flying down. I've seen a drone coming down through here and facing where the, our president would come out on the stage. I didn't feel right, but I didn't realize that 
at that time something was going to happen, but I know the good Lord was on our president's shoulders. So when that happened, and whenever that bullet, I kind of more or less heard a zing, and that bullet went across, and the president dragged, dragged his ears, I said, oh my. Then the mother bullets landed beside us. I said, oh my God, what's going on here? But I, my sister-in-law always told me that I had two angels on my shoulder. And, and, and I had them wore out. Well, I think one of them knew that we needed President Trump to be president, 47th president of the United States. And he jumped up on his shoulder to direct that bullet. So he gave Trump the opportunity to fulfill his mission. And I think that Donald Trump took my angel with him. But Donald Trump, sir, you can have my angel because I replaced it with another one. So, in closing, I would like to say this, that Donald Trump doesn't need to be here for our, us people. He is here because his heart is here. He's here for his country. He's here for his fellow Americans. He has everything in the world, but he still loves his country. And we've got to take our hats off to that big Donald Trump USA. Just one more thing, I, I think I'm running out of time, but I want to say this. We have Dave McCormick, all you veterans out there, Dave McCormick is running for Senate. We need to get him and we need a J.P. Vance in the White House for the veterans. Call all your friends and all your fellow soldiers and, and buddies and family and get them out to vote for Donald Trump for President of the United States because then we'll have some good representation at the White House. Thank you. Okay. Well, one more word. One more word. And I know my time's up, but I want to say this. I gave Donald Trump a new name, and, I, and it fits him perfectly. He's like a hard nail. You can bend him, but you can't break him. Thank you. Hello, Butler County, and welcome to our guests from near and far who've joined us in this very special place that we call home. My name is Kim Geyer, and I am one of two Republican Butler County Commissioners. I am honored, humbled, and very grateful to be here today. July 13th, 2024 will long be remembered in the history books as a traumatic and tragic day in America's history. And our home, Butler County, was instantly famous for all the wrong reasons. What happened that day in our community was far from our truth, and it was in no way representative of our people, our values, our strength, and our pride. This is Trump County. We bleed red, white, and blue. What happened that awful day will forever shape the trajectory of our future. We learned a lot about the evil we face. We learned a lot about gutsy leadership. And I believe that many of us learned a lot about ourselves in the face of heartbreaking loss, remarkable heroism, and personal resolve to stand up, stay calm, and fight, fight, fight for our country. And that's exactly what we've been doing since that day. Today on this beautiful autumn day, we are going to show the world what Butler County is really about. We are excited to show you our hearts, our love of country, and our fearless spirit that will help carry President Trump and Senator J.D. Vance to victory. No longer will Butler County be remembered by an assassin's bullet. Instead, we will solidify our legacy in history as the little town with a big heart that is working to heal, that is unified in purpose, and is motivated to save this country. We are proud to say that we are farmers, veterans, first responders, manufacturers, steel workers, oil and gas workers, educators, business people, and healthcare pros. We work hard, we work smart, and we work together. And as a result, 
Butler County is the fastest growing county in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We are enormously proud and our future is very bright. We embody traditional American values of hard work, patriotism, and volunteerism. We have faith-filled homes in family-centered communities with a perfect mix of country living and city conveniences. People want to live here, and those who leave often come back and stay. We're tough. We've learned from those who came before us. And when things get rough, we pull together and push through. Evil is not welcome in Butler County. The world saw our strength in July as we breathlessly, calmly waited to learn of President Trump's fate. If you were here that day like I was, I'm sure you remember the silence after the bullets. Man, you could almost hear hearts pounding. And then that roar of celebration when President Trump rose with defiant strength, pumped his fist, and showed us the way. <laughs> President Trump's message was clear. Don't give up on our country. Fight for our way of life. Stick to our values and stand up for our convictions. He continues to push back against the evil that is dividing our country. And by doing so, he honors generations of men and women who fought and sacrificed for our freedoms that so many are trying to destroy. He will never forget, and neither will we. I'd like to take a moment to recognize our local heroes. Butler County law enforcement, the state troopers, and the incredibly brave Butler County EMS team who stopped things from getting worse on July 13. We appreciate our paramedics, ambulance services, and teams of nurses and doctors at Independence Health System, our local health system, volunteers, and fellow rally attendees who truly stepped up that day. And of course, we honor the life and service of Corey Coppator and his family, his wife Helen and daughters Kaylee and Allison. This beautiful family of four attended the July rally together and returned home that evening without a beloved husband and father. We are here today with heavy hearts but also with gratitude for Corey's life of service. Let's honor him by living like he did, giving of our time and talents to make our community better. As we honor the Comperteur, David Dutch, and James Copenhagen families, let's keep them in our hearts and prayers. In closing, the American dream is still possible. It truly is if, and a big if, we elect leaders who demonstrate common sense and are committed to the Constitution. Policy matters. It affects our lives. We can save our country one vote at a time. Every single one of us has a vote to cast. If you are not registered to vote, get registered by October 21st. And if you can vote right now, in person, beginning October 15th at the county's election office with extended business hours. You can request a mail-in ballot until October 29th and return it promptly or you can vote at your precinct on election day. However you do it, make sure you vote and encourage others to do the same. Every vote counts when our country is on the line. Our kids and grandkids, including my four grandchildren, are counting on us to save the American dream. Today, Let's make sure Butler County is remembered as the place where the American spirit is strong, 
sturdy, and ready to take the lead in saving our country. Vote Donald J. Trump. Put America first, always. I'm Leslie Oshie, Butler County Commissioner, and I say welcome to our beautiful county. To those of you who are guests, you will see why we get on our knees and thank God for the opportunity to live in Butler County. A shining example of all that is good about the United States of America, land of the free and home of the brave. Our prayers go out to our brave friends in North Carolina and Tennessee who are suffering from a disaster of magnitude that we cannot imagine. But the courage and bravery of our veterans, first responders, the Trump and Vance families, and the people of our great nation is why we can stand here still today. Corey Comparatory and his family represent all that is Butler County and the very heart of our country. Corey was a project and tooling engineer at JSP International, one of more than 300 manufacturers, more than any other county in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We make things here. We are known around the world for our precision manufacturing, found even in SpaceX rockets. Mr. Musk, wherever you are. So let's hear it for all those like Corey who make it in America. Corey served in the Army Reserve. Butler County is proud of our servicemen and we love, honor, and take care of our veterans. He was a volunteer firefighter and in our county, you cannot go five feet without running into a first responder who is or was a first responder. We are proud and grateful for our emergency management, our law enforcement, firefighters, and medical teams who not only answered the call to protect us on July 13th, but who answer it every day. Commissioner Geyer and I had a bird's eye view from these bleachers, watching the helpers help and bravely run into the line of fire to stop what might have been a large scale massacre. We ask God to keep you safe today and every day. But above all things, Corey was a husband and a father. He loved and protected his family every day. We heard J.D. Vance talk about supporting families. We must turn off these electronic devices and reconnect with one another, especially the young people who are lost and driven into dark places like the young man who made his way to that roof. Corey, Corey heeded the call of God in Joshua 1.9, in which God says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And he tells him to obey the law of Moses described later by Jesus as loving God with all our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength, and loving our neighbors as ourselves. In his obituary, Corey's wife and daughter say that his courage was not loud and boisterous. It was the courage of quiet resilience, the strength to be vulnerable, and the bravery to lead with love. Today we stand like Corey with the courage of quiet resilience to defend our community and our country against forces that seek to divide us, forces that seek to turn us against one another. Our First Amendment right to peaceably assemble here safely 
is what they're trying to take away by instilling fear and creating chaos where there was none. But we will not be overcome. So on behalf of all of our elected officials, many of whom are here with us today, Lisa, Diane, Sheriff Mike, and Billy, we thank President Trump and his family for standing with courage and extend our loving gratitude to Helen Allison and Haley for the quiet resilience and the bravery to lead with love. May God continue to bless Butler County and our great country. Amen.